Hello everybody, it's Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers ship review video. This time reviewing something that you have already seen me put in a video. If you guys watch the Machinima that I put out Friday on this Monday, you will notice that this Monday's ship review is something that looked a little familiar in there. If you notice the scene where we had the troop transport that was attacking, well, here it is. This is exactly what it is. It's actually a repainted version of this thing here. And this is a pretty interesting build that I have to say, when I got a hold of it, I, I just looked at it and saw all kinds of possibilities, and that was one of them. For those of you wondering what this is, this is let me get it up here. The Brahmin JL 200 work platform. It's for all those hard to reach places when your jetpack is out of order, also handy for scouting the area or just getting some fresh air. Has about 178 blocks. It's a small type build, meaning these are all small blocks. Made by Bolland 83, requires Warfare 2, Wasteland, and Heavy Industry DLC. We're gonna give it a like here. And uh, just for those of you that are wondering what this thing is, it is basically a platform that you can use if you're doing missions where you if you're playing on a server where you can't use your jetpack a prime place that you could use this is the frostbite scenario for those of you that have tried the frostbite scenario you know that not having your jetpack is a pain in the butt well this thing gets around it to show you how this works you just simply walk up to it we activate our little tool pad here and as you can see here number one is our magnetic plates that's very important number two is what's number two number two i believe is the forward camera Number three must be the under camera. Number four, I'm not sure what number four, oh, number four is all the lights. Number five is our ore detector. Number seven is our thrusters. We'll hit those in a minute. Number eight is the auto recharge button. So if you want to turn this thing off, just let it charge while it's sitting somewhere, you can do that. Number nine turns the antenna off and on. Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit number seven. I'm gonna show you guys how you would use this thing. So we're gonna go over here and uh, had a little bit of a fun party last night. Broke some stuff over at the earth base. We're gonna go over here and you know, do a couple of minor repairs. What we do is we just take this thing, move it right up to the wall here. And it automatically locks on. And as it's locked on here, all I gotta do is just whip out my little handy tool and I can do some basic base repairs without the use of my jetpack. If I want to do this again, simply press 1, come off, go forward a bit more if I want to get some more stuff, and just clink myself right on there. And as you can see there, we're already starting to repair the base by using this little platform to do all the work for us. We have a section down here to get into our inventory. And uh, it's just basically run by a couple of hydrogen thrusters. I hear the middle of nowhere. Two batteries and these nice little beam blocks here, or plates to make it look like it's just something strapped together. And it works very well, I'm not going to lie. It's a very well-built little platform that works beautifully. We got magnetic plates in the front of it, so you can just hook right up to something, and an easy ramp to just, you can practically run right up this thing, go right up into the back end of it. But yeah, like I said, I used this in the uh, machinima that I did Friday, and uh, I'll give you a note here. This is the side of it. Y'all remember in that one scene where that poor engineer on top of the tower just got completely bodied. Uh, there's about three people on here. Yes, this thing can transport an entire group of people. Uh, you can throw some guys in the back of it. And as long as they don't move too much, you can just pilot them around. And just have a little bit of fun. Just drop in on some guys and just give them some heck with some gunfire. But, yeah, that's the uh, Brahmin, as we like to call it. <laughs> and it's a one of those little things that has just been very nifty to play around with and just have some fun. See if I can hit the thrust on here. 
drop myself on so you guys can get a nice look at this thing. But yeah, like I said, this thing, uh, it's its one of those things that you would want to build for a scenario in which you don't have a jetpack. And this is probably one of the better ones I've found on the, on the uh, workshop. I will be putting a link to this in the description, so if you guys want to check it out, you can. But like I said, this thing easily can get where you need to go. It's got magnets on, let's see, four of its six sides. So you can just attach this like wherever you want it to go. And go right to repairing if you don't have access to a jetpack. Far better than trying to do it without a jetpack. Um, and also, like I said, great for carrying troops around and having them shoot at things. Uh, did that in the Machinima. As I said, if you haven't seen the Machinima, there will be a link to it in the description also, so you guys can go check that out. That also has, let's see if I remember, the Noma was in there too. I used a modified version of it, uh, one that I modified, and basically just copied the colors and skinned this as the color of it. But anyway, folks, thank you all for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the Brahmin if you haven't yet. It is a really cool little option and who knows maybe you guys will play with this thing a little bit and come up with something even cooler to use in your next playthrough anyway folks i am badger wild saying thank you uh be safe stay frosty and as always i am now signing out